Um, hello, Delray Cross here with anachronism number 3,315. I call it things to do when you're in love. And as for all of the poems posted in this particular month, uh, except for the first one, I think, I've got a quote by John Ashbery to begin. That is, okay, let's cope. John Ashbery. I do but fall. I cannot even catch myself, but how fantastic and how horrid it most certainly would have looked had anyone but me have been here but to see it. And keep in mind, there is nothing at all hurting, save my pride. Half underneath my bed, slipping madly off the desk chair, my good friend Diane so graciously sent as an early birthday present when I first moved in nearly three years ago. I must make time cease to give the impression it's flying buttresses. And with the phone still at my ear, no less, as he had called, and was he ever laughing? Hang on. So... Half under my bed, my big toe, torn in two. Okay, it's just a toenail, and it's much worse than it looks. By my foot suddenly being thrust, by my fall, to the floor, into the bookshelf, the one with almost no books, but lots of dried beans in little diabetic baggies, like garbanzo pinto, black and, black and white, uh, black and black-eyed pea where here we might have the legumes so as to get right to the lentils, orange and navy green, but how am I to know, so long as it isn't string green beans, strung beans, unless, of course, it's a lima, a lima bean. I remember the two limas, lima and lima. Oh, shut up, you crabby fool. Some people don't mourn every day like I do. Mourn every day? If... I weren't so stoned, I'd be ruffle. Which is really all I was trying to tell you about because it was so hilarious. By which I mean tragic. You were laughing through the face on my phone, always with that drop dead face. I wanted to sh stop your laughter dead in its tracks by crying, sobbing like a watermill. I remember watermills. Watermills. Broken toe. Leg at such an odd angle. Okay, two legs. Not at horror angles. You were laughing. I was sobbing into a milkshake. An imaginary milkshake that had been real only a few short moments ago. Don't forget about midnight, says he, so sweet. And all my broken legs and toenails in the assembled out-of-the-box chair from Diane that I got nearly four years ago when I moved into this... I don't even know what to call it as I look around wondering what to ever call it. Elvis in August. Me, half under the bed. How can I miss Elvis? No matter which way I move my broken face, no matter if I spin the chair on top of me clockwise or counterclockwise, which one is Australia? I forget. Tragedy of comedy, half under the bed, broken toe, on the bookshelf, with almost no books. Don't forget midnight. But by then I can't shut up about Mozart. Da Ponte operas and Aristophanes and Shakespeare, the only things worth a damn older than 150. And wouldn't you just know it, but from tragedy or more from drama queen at that, I was practically bubbling over talking about those damned operas. Sublimity and Peter Sellers. It's the same stories. Do they ever change? And you said, and did you ever say, just like always, something that made me seem but invaluable? Elvis with his really nasty jailhouse sex face sneer? Elvis the unrealistically twisted pelvis tilted there above my also oddly twisted body, which I somehow now can manage to haul up onto the bed which I was just beneath my bed with all the boxes atop it and with and upon which I now curl up somehow 
not so uncomfortable. You're feeling just exactly the opposite of tragic. And it is yet an hour to midnight.